video, we are doing multiplying and dividing integers word problems. My learning target is I can represent integer operations with concrete models and connect the actions with the models to standardize algorithms. So we will be using the standard algorithm to solve these problems. And we are just talking about keywords and figuring out what a word problem is really asking us to do. All right, so our keywords for negatives are below sea level, debt, debit, owing money, taking money out of an account, or below zero temperatures. And then our keywords for positive are above sea level, savings or credit, keeping money or putting money in the account, and then above zero temperatures. All right, Jose was scuba diving. He wanted to dive 50 feet in five minutes. Write an integer that represents how far he needs to swim per minute. So he's diving, so that's negative in five minutes. So we have fifty negative fifty divided by five. So if we have a negative and a positive, that is going to be a negative answer. Five go or goes into five once. 5 goes into 0, 0 times, so my answer is negative 10 feet per minute. Emily spent $10 a day for a week. Write an integer that represents how much money she spent in a week. There are seven days in a week we're spending money, so negative 10 times 7. So our answer is going to be negative. So 10 times 7 is 70. So she is going to spend $70. The temperature outside was 30 degrees. The temperature decreased by two degrees Celsius each day for five days. Write an integer that represents how much the temperature decreased over five days. So that 30 degrees Celsius is extra information. So we have that it decreased for negative two degrees Celsius for five days. Our answer is going to be negative. 2 times 5 is 10, so our answer is negative 10 degrees Celsius. Landon and Blake owe a total of $438. For their video game purchase. Write an integer that represents how much each owe if the total was separated ev evenly. So it's going to be separated by 2. So we now have negative 438 divided by 2. Our answer is going to be negative. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 2 times 4 is 2. Bring down that 3. It goes into 3 once. Subtract those, bring the 8 down, 2 goes into 18 9 times, 2 times 9 is 18, so they each owe a negative, they owe, so using that negative number, $219. The PTA bought 1,508 bags of snacks for the end of the year party. Each student will get two bags. How many students are there? So we have 1,508 divided by the two bags they will each get. My answer is going to be positive. So two goes into 15 seven times. 2 times 7 is 14. Subtract that. Bring down the 0. 2 goes into 10 five times. Bring down the 8. 2 goes into 8 four times. 2 times 4 is 8. So there are 
754 students. Lily O's, we've got type of issue here. Lily owes her friend $40, so negative 40. She will make $10 a day dog sitting. How many days will it take her to break even? So we have negative, oops, negative 40 divided by 10. So our answer is going to be negative. So it would be negative four days, but time cannot be negative. So my answer is going to be four days. Thanks for watching.